and welcome to Majestic.Cloud. I am Laszlo and today I am going to show you how to connect an SQL client to a private RDS instance via an EC2 bastion host. In our scenario we assume that we have an RDS database that has no public access and we can only access this database from within uh, the VPC and we want to connect an SQL client like MySQL Workbench or Heidi SQL to this database. Uh, this can easily be done with an SSH connection or tunnel through an EC2 instance which is in a public subnet. So let's see how this is done. I'm in EC2 and uh, I have here this uh, bastion host um, which I will use to connect to the RDS uh, database. You can see that this EC2 instance has a public IP. Uh, I am able to connect to it. And um, let's see also what I have in uh, RDS. Here I have a database. Um, it's a small MySQL uh, instance and if I open it uh, you can see here in the settings I have set public accessibility no. And what that means is if we read the description from um, the Amazon um, team. Let's wait for this instance to open. So here uh, at the public accessibility it says no. DB instance will not have a public IP address assigned. No EC2 instance or devices outside of the VPC will be able to connect. OK, so let's test if that is true. I will open uh, MySQL Workbench and try to connect to this database uh, directly. So here's uh, MySQL Workbench. Let's create a new connection. Um, I will call it just DB and uh, the host name, I will paste the host name of my uh, database uh, instance. It will be standard TCP IP. I will provide here the um, uh, username and also the password to this uh, instance. OK, and let's uh, try to connect. and it says please stand by and uh, while this will take a while uh, we will wait for it to see uh, if it works or it will uh, give us a timeout so it should give a timeout because um, um, this MySQL workbench uh, cannot connect and yes we have it cannot connect to database server okay so now Let's delete this connection. Delete connection. OK. And uh, create a new connection. But this time here uh, we'll choose standard TCP IP over SSH. And as I selected this, I have uh, more options here. So I will call the connection just DB. Um, I will um, need to provide here the um, host name or the IP address of the um, SSH uh, host and in my case this will be the EC2 instance so um, let's uh, grab the IP address of this uh, EC2 instance it's this one here and I will go back to um, this workbench and uh, I will paste it here and for the SSH username I need to put EC2 user. I will not set a password here but I will need to provide my SSH key file and that will be my new key pair uh, here. For the MySQL hostname I will need to provide the hostname of my uh, RDS instance and that will be this one. And the port will be the same. I will need to give the password and the username. OK. And uh, that should be it. I will click OK. And now if I open this, uh, it should be able to connect to uh, the RDS instance. So let's wait for it. 
and yes it was able to connect and uh, you can see here I have access to the schemas on the server I will uh, open the seller DB database I will look at the tables I see I have a sellers table here and uh, I could also select the rows you see it's only one row here in this uh, test database so this works now I will show you also in the other uh, SQL client, client uh, Heidi SQL. Uh, this is actually my favorite uh, MySQL client. And here it's a little bit different. That's why I want to show it to you. So here I click on new. And here I have the options uh, MariaDB uh, or MySQL with SSH tunnel. Uh, you can use Heidi SQL to connect also to other types of databases like Microsoft SQL Server or PostgreSQL. But uh, here we will stick to MySQL because that's the database server we have. And as I said, we choose the SSH tunnel. And here the setup is a little bit different, um, but not much. So here at the host name, I will paste the. Um, uh, host name of the database uh, the RDS instance uh, for user I will use my uh, MySQL uh, username and password and then uh, this is fine we need to go over to the SSH tunnel tab and here um, we need to provide a link to the plink.exe this is a um, small program that it uses for the SSH tunnel. Uh, if you don't have it, you can download it re from this link that is in ID SQL. And for the SSH um, uh, host, we'll use the um, uh, IP address of the EC2 instance uh, through which we are connecting. Username will be EC2 user. And then uh, we also need to provide the private private key file. And in this case, we need to use a PPK file because this is what uh, it's needed in this case. So it's uh, my new key pair PPK. Uh, you can create such a file with uh, PuttyGen. Okay, so now this should be fine. I will save it and let's try connecting to the database via an SSH tunnel and it is a bit slower but I was able to connect uh, to the RDS instance and I can see here the, the tables and stuff like that I will open the same uh, database and uh, the table which I've opened in MySQL Workbench and I have here the table structure and if I click on the data tab I can see that I have one row in this table so yeah basically this is it this is how you connect to a private RDS instance uh, using an EC2 instance uh, as an intermediary and uh, yeah I think it's pretty easy this was the video for today I hope you liked it if you did, click on the like button, subscribe to the channel, follow us on social media and I hope to see you in a future video here on Majestic.cloud. Have a great day!